Okay, with the largest whiskey selection in Ohio, Lizardville has the perfect ones for summer. So we're gonna welcome General Manager Burl Lane. And the first time I met Burl, I said, Burl, I just love your name. It's a good name. <laughs> It's an interesting name, that's for sure. It's a, no. It fits nicely with Lizardville and the whiskey and all the imported beers. You walk inside Lizardville and you just see how many different beers. Uh, we've got about 700 different beers from all over the world. 700 so beers. And some of the beers that are very difficult to get, like uh, Zombie Dust. Yeah, the Three Floyds. Yeah. Highly sought after. We, uh, we tend to get a little more than most people, but yeah. it's great stuff. Sometimes you go all the way to Chicago and you don't get it, and it's made over there in Indiana. So no. and they have all this stuff. So I walk in, I see all these beers. We talked about it. And he says, well, wait, you're missing out on our biggest thing. And it's the whiskey. And, and tell me about your collection. We've got, uh, we're pushing about 500 different whiskeys from all over the world. Uh, Scotland, Ireland, Japanese whiskey all over the United States. Uh, we've got whiskey from, from all over the place. Now you talk about whiskey, there's different kinds. You, you mentioned Irish whiskey is specific, Scotch yeah. whiskey, uh, American bourbon. Bourbon, yeah. from right here in the US. So, so what's the Buffalo Trace one? Buffalo Trace is a bourbon uh, right, uh, made right here in Kentucky, mm -hmm. uh, just south of us. And what makes this one special is this is actually a Winking Lizard pick. So we actually selected this barrel ourselves uh, from the distillery. Normally they blend about 30 or 35 barrels together to mm -hmm. create a consistent batch, but this one's going to be a little bit unique. Yeah, Pretty great stuff. Uh, the show New Day Cleveland, we went down in uh, the Bourbon Trail and we visited oh, yeah. Buffalo Trace and people, when you see this place, it is a big, or a big operation. Massive, massive, massive distillery, but they're making uh, some of the best American bourbon that you can get your hands on. Yeah, owned by a family for, I think, like a couple centuries almost, mm -hmm. right? But Quite a bit of tradition. This one has become very popular now. Bullet, yes. Bullet uh, makes a bourbon as well, but this is their rye. Quite a different flavor profile from bourbon. Bourbon's made from mostly corn, rye, mostly rye in the mash bill. How does that so change the flavor? I always tell people to think about uh, the corn whiskeys like bourbon, to think about cornbread. Mm -hmm. Rye whiskey, think about rye bread. Should we it's taste this one? Here. Sure. This is the same one here? Yep. Okay, there you go. Cheers. So this is the one with corn. Yep. Okay, it's so a little sweeter, oh, yeah. a little caramel, uh, vanilla kind of character to it. Now, when you and when you drink with Burl, you're not shooting it back. You're you're enjoying oh, all you the flavors, sip it, right? You got to enjoy it. Absolutely. Okay, now this is the rice. So now I'm looking for something a little different. Huh? A little spicier, more of a cinnamon, uh, peppery kind of note. Oh yeah, very distinct, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, nobody could fool you, I bet, on that. <laughs> you you would know, right? I drink a lot of whiskey. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, you're in very good shape, too. It must be good for you. Thank you. Yellow Spot, never heard of it. Yellow Spot's an Irish whiskey. It's not a well-known Irish whiskey, but it's very incredible. And this one, uh, over in Ireland, they can age whiskey in multiple different types of barrels, unlike in the U.S. with bourbon or rye, where you have to use first-time charred American white oak barrel. They can use ex-wine barrels. So this uh. one, they're actually using ex-bourbon barrels, but also ex uh, Sherry wine barrels. So it changes Spain. the characteristic of it. Yeah, that sherry. So what are we looking for in this? A little bit more of a fruit forward note. I get cherries in this one, a little bit of cherries, honey. It's a little sweet as wow. well. And there's something, what makes Irish whiskey taste so different from like our, our American whiskeys? Uh, well, it's fermented from 100% barley, malted barley. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit more of a sweet cereal grain that you're starting with. Mm -hmm. Um, gives it a little bit more of a sweet note, but also Irish whiskeys tend to be triple distilled, so they're right. very, very smooth, easy drinking whiskeys. Okay, so when you go to Lizardville, how, where is Lizardville? Uh, we've got four locations. Our, our original locations in Bedford Heights on Miles Road. Miles and Richmond. Miles and Richmond. Right next to the Winking Lizard. Right next to the Winking Lizard, absolutely. Uh, we've got a location in Lakewood in the basement of the Winking Lizard. It's kind of a cool little speakeasy vibe mm -hmm. down there. Uh, we've got a location down in Copley Fairlawn, and we've got one in Columbus now as well in Westerville. And I know some of your locations, there's outdoor patios, so if a guy wants oh, to yes. smoke a cigar with his bourbon or whiskey, they can certainly do that too. Cigars are certainly allowed. You can bring your own, or we sell some as well. And we've yep. got cigar patios at all of our Lizardville locations. Yeah, it's really something. And the other cool thing about that is, just like we sort of did a flight of the whiskeys, uh, mm -hmm. Burl also offers flights of whiskeys to the public. Anytime, yeah, we can do flights. We do private parties where people come in and do an educational whiskey experience. Drinking to you and the Lizardville. Which one is this? This is Highland Park Magnus. So this is a single malt scotch. This one's gonna be a little smoky. And it's delicious. 
four distinct different tastes and a lot of fun. If you see Burl over at the uh, uh, Lizardville on uh, Miles in Richmond, uh, he'll say hello and greet you. They're closed on Sunday. Closed on Sunday. Closed on Sunday. So there you go, folks. Lizardville. When we come back, it's